If this was a real courtroom, I would call for a recess now. Oh, we're not in a courtroom, so stop it! Wait, I'm not finished yet. Out of the room! Court has been adjourned. Leave at once. This is no courtroom. Well, well then, as I said, court is adjourned. We're not in a courtroom! Objection! I can't prove my argument, but isn't it the same case with Mr. Keys? Whatever do you mean? Just as I don't know how the dog entered the detention center, you also don't know how Simon Keyes entered the detention center and prison. Although he came to visit the victim, he was an outsider to... Uh, he was an outsider to the prison. Don't you think it would be difficult for him to commit a crime inside the prison? Judge Courtney, now the burden of proof lies with you. Show us evidence that Simon Keyes entered the prison. Out the room! You want me to present evidence? I'm happy to oblige. What? Does she really have evidence? It's about time I told you. Now that I know the basis of your reasoning, Prosecutor Edgeworth, what is she thinking? It seems you don't even know Simon Key's real occupation. He is a circus performer. A circus performer? Yes. Have you ever heard of the very big circus? Circus? But of course, yesterday was a day that I wouldn't have missed for the world. Wouldn't have missed for the world? Did you have some kind of important meeting? Oh heavens no, I despise meetings. It was the animal show, of course. It seems you've realized. On the day of the incident, an animal show was being performed at the prison. And the show was put on by the very big circus. So then, do you mean Simon is... Simon Keyes entered the prison as a staff member of the animal show. That we know for a fact. <laughs> this woman. He's been con she's been con concealing this fact the whole time. She only planned to reveal it after hearing my reasoning. Come to think of it. What are you doing, Justine? Don't butt in like that! Pardon me, Sebastian. Yes, your words on the suspect are very interesting. However, shouldn't you be- shouldn't you get the best part first? Mr. The Best was going to say it then, but she stopped him. <laughs> How do you like that, worthless prosecutor? I was about to say worthless peasant. You didn't do anything. Well then, now it really is time for recess. I'll end with some advice. I had already doubted your abilities as a prosecutor, which is why I relieved you of your authority. You'd best not forget that. What are you trying to say? The PIC can still take away your badge. If you value your badge, I advise you not to show your face before me again. Is that a threat? The goddess of law is merciful, but that doesn't mean you can get away with everything. And one more thing, I must digress. I suggest you stop with this defense attorney act. That's none of your concern. I don't intend to abandon the case I am involved in so easily. For a defense attorneys, a relationship of mutual trust with their client is vital. It is very different from the way of the prosecutor. In any case, you didn't even know about your client's occupation. Well then, I must be going. May the blessings of the goddess of law be upon you. God damn it, I really hate them both. <laughs> and particularly the judge constantly interrupting the best. Did Simon lie to us? Seems he lied to Uncle Ray too. This complicates matters. Why do you do that? Miles, don't tell me you've gotten cold feet already. Courtney Pie is quite a handful, but giving up is still uncool. Defense Attorney's Creed is to never give up. Remember, you're my assistant. Of course, I don't plan on giving up either. It's just... 
my theory that he couldn't enter the prison along the woods. It looks like he'll have to investigate once more. To be continue. I was actually hoping we could get to that to be continue before I had to stop, but hey. No, we're not saving just yet. I need to check the footage later. All right, Simon, you need to do a little bit more confessing. Why did you not mention that beforehand? No, but I did. Um, what didn't I mention? That you're a member of the Very Big Circus. No, it's just that, you know, I'm not. I can't call myself a member yet. I'm just a new recruit. Regardless, that still makes you a member. Eek! Simon! Simon! Oh, God. So, why didn't you tell us be that before? If I told you I was part of the circus, it would have made me look suspicious, right? Since I also knew Knightley and all that. Oh, I didn't think anyone would believe what I had to say. Not even you guys, Kay. Didn't we promise to believe in you? But, Mr. Edgeworth, you're just kind of scary. Man, you're just terrible at getting info from people, aren't you, Miles? <laughs> That's none of your concern. Looks like we need to have a talk with you again. So, um, what did you do in the circus, Simon? I guess you could say I'm a wild animal tamer. I'm still just an apprentice, though. Wow, that's incredible! So you command lions and tigers and to do your bidding, right? And bears, too, right? No, uh, well, nothing crazy like that. No way, no way, no way! My partner is this little guy right here. And that makes you a wild animal tamer. More like an organ grinder than a wild animal tamer. <laughs> He can be quite a handful sometimes. Uh, am I watching the set of Ratatouille? <laughs> I thought organ grinders control their monkeys, not the other way around. Yesterday, you told us you were just a regular employee, correct? Even if I'm a member of the circus, I'm still legally an employee. We're just like any regular company. The ringleader is the boss, and I'm just a grunt. I even have a supervisor. She's the head of the wild animal tamer division. No matter what kind of fierce creature, they all immediately follow her every command. <laughs> she might even be able to get a handle of Miles here. Wow! I am not a wild animal. Yeah, he's not. He's got a... His, his issue is totally different. Did you and your supervisor take part in the animal show here at the prison? Yeah, it was just us two. It was only meant a small oper it was only a small operation this time around. Basically, my supervisor takes center stage and I take care of all the dirty work. Well, I did have a tiny part in the performance. So there are only two members of the circus that are related to this case. So, can you tell me about your movements around the prison? Okay, I went to meet Knightley two days ago around noon. And that's when you gave him the chessboard. That's right! And then that night, I started setting up the stage in the courtyard. It was pretty tough going back and forth moving all the crates by myself. <laughs> I left everything in... Workroom A, I think. Just temporary storage. Workroom A. That's where the body was discovered. Oh, that's making things look even worse for you. Did your supervisor help you at all? No way! I can't let her do anything like that! That's my job! After I got everything ready, we started rehearsing. When we left, it was almost midnight. It's, the show was set to start at 8 a.m. the next day and go on to 10 a.m. That is a long show with only two people. The only one who went in and out of where the body was found is Mr. Keyes. And the body was found just before the show ended. Do you happen to know why you were arrested? It's weird how it might happen so fast. I didn't I don't think that the pest guy would just have you arrested on a whim. Are you sure? I wouldn't put it past.
past put it past him though. Well, maybe it's because of that. When I was moving the crates, I decided to check up on him. I you know, Mr. Knightley. Went directly into the detention block. Did you have permission? No, I I had to sneak in. It wasn't a formal visit or anything. Oh my god, Simon, you're just digging yourself a bigger grave. Didn't you already see him two days ago? Why would you go and do such a thing? Well, we're the only friends either of us has had since childhood. It was the same as me. We never had real families. I just wanted to talk with him for a bit. So I went to see him. I didn't have a family. Um, when I was younger, I lost the only family I had. My father. So is that it? I know too well how it feels to lose your father at a young age. So you're the same as Mr. Edgeworth and me. So, it was just the two of you talking at that time? Yes, all the other cells were empty and there weren't any guards nearby either. What? Why? <laughs> but then you got found out, and that's why they suspected you. What? What? Did I do something really bad? Something must have happened while Mr. Keys and Knightley were alone. It's probably the best's logic. It seems that we'll need to talk with your supervisor as well. She should be here today, too. Probably in the courtyard. Oh, I'm sorry you turned up like this, boss. Simon, if there's anything we can do to help, just tell us. What? What? F -f -f I, I can't do anything in return. Oh, don't you worry about that. We're all allies. Oh, we were a We're your allies. That's because... We're like birds of a feather, right, Mr. Edgeworth? Birds of a feather, huh? I suppose that's true. We have sufficient information about your past. I doubt you have a motive to kill me. Rather, you are probably the most effective by his death. And I doubt someone as timid as you would work up the to murder someone. Alright, I'll get you out of here. We'll believe in you. Wow, that sounds like a defense attorney thing. Well, what do we have here? Starting to get the hang of the whole defense attorney gig. Well, it's not his first time he was a defense attorney. He sounded a bit like your old man just now. Sound like my father. <laughs> he would say, the defense attorney's job is to be an ally to the deserted. You're going to buy that stallion into the sunrise. Wait for me. I want him too. It's just a joke. Want some candy? Candy? What? No, thank you. Uh, I don't like sweets. Oh, really? What a shame. I'll take those. What's wrong, miss, with the sunrise? The legendary Yatsugarasu is all about the sun. Since the sunlight always exposes the truth. Now, let's just head to the prison courtyard and see what we find there. I'm gonna have to cut this short pretty soon. Ah! The shutter is open! Yes, it looks like that way it leads to the courtyard. So, what are we waiting for? Come on, let's get a move on! We'll get a move on to the courtyard in the next video and find out what we can discover out there. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!